This trailer has so many features you've probably never seen before on our standard travel trailer. It's a 2021 Venture RV Sonic X 220 VRBX. Let's go give it a tour. Well, hello and welcome back to another RV walkthrough. As always, my name is Taylor Quayle. We are here at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona, and we got a special one for you today. I feel like I say that every time, but I actually mean it this time. This is a 2021 Venture RV Sonic X 220 VRBX or VBRX. Let's double check. VRBX. It's kind of a confusing model number, but this is one of the most unique trailers I've ever seen. If you're one of those kind of doomsday preppers, this thing is literally perfect for you. The only thing it's missing, in my opinion, to be perfect for the off-road is a generator. Most trailers don't come with generators, but it's got a little, little area on the back that you could put one. So let's get this walkthrough started. We're gonna go through the whole exterior, then we'll jump inside and see what that has to offer. Loaded with extras and features, including this nice little bike rack. You can see you got a light bar up there. There's also a light bar in the back. There's some solar in here. And it's got, you'd think it'd be an outdoor kitchen on the back passenger side corner, but it's something even more special. So first off, why don't we get a weight on this guy? Your loaded weight on this bad boy is, oh my gosh, 72.85. He also got cargo carrying capacity of 1635. So what is that? 50, 5500, 5600-ish dry. It's only a single slide out. It's a nice three foot deep slide gear driven, double axle. One other cool feature it has is this nice little rail that pretty much goes all the way around the coach to help from extra little dents and dings. Previous owner did get one little dent on it, but it didn't hurt any of the fiberglass. All right, let's check out the uh, tires really quick. Nice beefy off-road tires. They are 235 75R15s, a date code 1620. So they're pretty fairly recent. Obviously they're original because this is a 21. Area for a spare tire in the middle of the coach. And then you got your gray and black dumps under the rail. 30 amp power service, gas and electric six gallon water heater. Come on, there we go. Six gallon water heater. Oh boy, now we gotta try to get this back into place. Oh man, we did it. All right, good deal. The dent is right here. You can see it a lot easier when I have this little kind of platform lifted up because it will lift up and kind of store into place or you can keep it down it's got a couple latches to hold it in place this would be perfect for a generator if you did want to add one to this if your main goal is to dry camp or boondock as you can see another light bar on the back you also got cable satellite hookup city water connection tank flush and your outdoor shower all in the rear too now let's not look at that yet let me shut this door so this is what I was talking about here in the back corner. It looks like it'd just be an outdoor kitchen, probably have a fridge, a sink, has none of that. Has an area to mount a TV, has an inverter because there is four solar panels up top. And then there's your light bar control, heat pads on it because it does of course have a cold weather package, your solar charger, and then this. This clear so source boondocking kind of water filtration system. What you can do with that is you can hook it up to a hose, put it in any creek or river, and you can suck in water into your interior tank, filter it so you can drink from it, which is just incredible. Like I said, you get yourself a generator, maybe one that's a dual propane and gas, you can be out in boondocking for such a long time. One of the coolest features I've ever seen, and then this whole area is like a TV backing location, on the other side of this is another awesome feature. You won't believe what is in the bathroom in there. We'll save that for a couple minutes. Awning, not a bad size. What is that, about 12 foot, 10, 12 foot? I'll find the full measurement and put it on screen. Jacks are all electric. You do, you, as you can see, you can do a manual too, but you have push button for all of them, which is nice. Very nice. Other two axles, other side of that tire carrier. It's all a little fancy. Weather shield, forced heat, and closed underbelly. Solid steps, easily flip in. And then of course, the other side of that pass, there's storage. And then that other light bar button is right there. Now there is, oh, they must have stole my battery. Battery stays right there. I do have it plugged in right now. Couple propane tanks, electric hitch. 
and a, probably a two and five sixteenths ball. So that's the exterior. I forgot to say you do have an LED strip on the awning. It's all the way at the end though, so you do have to put it all the way out to be able to take advantage. Frameless windows, outdoor speakers. So, I'm sure, oh, small complaint when the awning's out, the door will rub a little bit on it. You can see the mark from it happening prior. Yeah, you could adjust the pitch a little bit on the awning. Now this, uh, these stair systems, I freaking love these things. You do have to have the door open all the way to actually store it in place, but all you gotta do, lift it up and then push it in. And there you go, it stores like that. They're super solid, you can adjust the legs coming out so you have a even more solid step. Let's see if I can get this with one hand, there we go. Very, very nice. All right, let's jump inside because this thing is just, there's just so much cool stuff shut that door so right when you walk in you're greeted with the three foot deep slide has a big old u-shaped dinette in it no storage no pull out drawers i should say and you can make it a sleeper you have to undo that latch undo that latch push it down lift the cushions up at the same time and slide it down then there's an extra cushion to go on this table to fill the void and it's a pretty good size if you're interested in seeing all the sleeping areas I have a short video on my uh, page, on my YouTube channel, that'll show you the accessibility with the slide in, and of course, all the sleeping areas. Speaking of sleeping areas, you're probably wondering where the bed is. Well, it's a Murphy bed setup. So, you got a little folding bed back there. All you gotta do is lay this couch flat, and that's how you set it up. We will do it. But first, let's look at the little baby wardrobe you got left. A little bit of storage you got above. And same concept on the right. All right, let me get you guys all situated really quick. I'll show you how to use this. I don't have a mic, so I'm gonna try to yell a little bit. First thing you need to do, lift up, pull out, make sure it lays flat. Undo the latch up here, drop it down. Has another little folding piece. You gotta flip over. And it's a tri-fold bed, so you got one fold there, a second fold there. Oh. And you gotta watch your heel on this little separator, room separator. But that turns into pretty much a full queen bed. I'll get the exact size and put it on the specs. The only kind of complaint I got with Murphy beds is you lose the sleeping area for the couch. You can only really use one at a time. It's either the jackknife sofa or the full queen bed. Most people are probably gonna pick the queen bed. Let's get some lights on back there. There is also small little cubby areas, outlets, USBs over there, another small cubby. All right, let me quickly put this back into position so you guys can kind of see how that works. It'll be pretty quick. Three folds, one, two, three, lift up. Turn that light off first, because I will forget that. And then it's still a 21, so this couch is a little bit harder to get up and in. There is also some storage down there too. Not a hard setup at all. All right. So now, it does give you, it's not like a real door or anything, but you do have a full room separator. Let's get it into position. There's a little gap down below, but not much. If you got cats or a small dog, they will be getting down under there. But it is pretty much blacked out. You can see the light a little bit. You can hear everything going on back there, but give you a little bit more privacy. All right, let's try to do this with one hand. Oh boy. Here we go. All right, so. Like I said, U-shaped dinette, massive table, three foot deep slide just to the left of the dinette, your entertainment area, and some storage. And those do go back a little bit further to the right. DVD player, multimedia device, TV, plus all the hookups up top, ready for Wi-Fi, pre-wired for it. That looks like it's on a mount too, so you could pull that out. Just to the left of that, if you guys know what this is, let me know, because I have not figured it out. It does have a wireless RV leveling system, which is really cool. One, two, three shelves right there. Good pantry. And then you got one more storage up above. AC, direct out of unit, non-ducted, but for this size of a trailer, not a problem. 
When we first took this trailer in, trying to find the slide control was quite a pain. But after a little bit of looking, you see this right here, you're like, oh, this must open. It does. Inverter control, awning, slide, lights, and power in USB so you can charge stuff up here and close it off. It's pretty nice. Solid surface countertops, of course. A little bit more storage down there. Also accessible from under the sink. No extension on the faucet, kind of just sits there, but it does have the cool little rolly multi-use kind of sink cover. You can put stuff on it. The other storage on the other side. There's the bottom part of that we saw over there. Two of these drawers, nice and deep. Furnace, Furion oven, glass top stove. And then an actual, I mean, it's only one piece, but a real backsplash. Hood with a light and a fan. Standard microwave because there is the oven. And then some storage. And last but not least in the kitchen, of course, you know, you gotta have a fridge. It's kind of crucial. Nor cold, top freezer, bottom fridge. Three-way. Running off of propane too. Should be good for you boom lockers. You also got breaker box down below and then this door is to the bathroom pretty spacious bathroom in my opinion you got a corner shower a decent walking room in front of the toilet and then a corner vanity with a medicine cabinet even when you're sitting on the toilet you have plenty of room corner shower is always nice couple shelves built in looks like a one-piece fiberglass wall with a pan it is also a glass door Glass door. A little bit of storage in here. Perfect for some TP, probably. I don't know what I'd put in there, but I like it. Now, the one of my favorite parts. I've never seen this in an RV. You got an extra little closet back here, which houses the cushion, which is going to go on the dinette over there. But there is also a little safe. And who knows what you'd put in there? Probably some ammo for your gun storage. Look at this. It's got a couple racks in here. You can put a couple rifles. And it is lockable. Never seen this in an RV. I've seen safes. I've seen people make custom gun storages, but never a locking one in the closet. And that's why it's not as deep outside for that kind of outdoor storage area and TV backing location, because it's got literal gun storage. And then if you look up, you could also use it as closet space. You could get rid of the gun storage if you don't aren't gonna use it. I'd probably just store something in there that you wanna lock. And then like I said, that cushion is for the dinette. When you do finally get it set up, it lays right on top of this table to fill the void. Decently comfortable too. Now, what's the selling price on this beautiful coach? $33,000 is what we're asking for it. It is 27 feet, six inches. Fresh tank is 90, black is 30, gray is 30, 7285, loaded 5600 dry. And then here's some more, if you wanna just quickly look at those specs. Oh, there we go. Look, you can see the bed sizes right there. And this is like the solar package, the off-road package, water filtration system, which was one of the only options and it does have. And then your storage system and bike rack. All of them were standard, as you can see, all right here. And the only one that was not standard is that water filtration system. So pretty cool what they include, standard on these Sonic trailers. <clears throat> Literally perfect for one of those preppers or a boondocker, just add a gen set. So there you go. Now, of course, last thing we got to do, let's put this dang slide in to see how much accessibility there is to walk around while you're traveling. I'll be right back. Alrighty, as you can see, the three foot deep slide is all the way in. And also, as you can see, there's not much of a walkway right here. There's not one at all. <laughs> if you're able to jump across or get across, maybe do a little crawl around the U-shaped dinette, you can still get to the bathroom, nothing changes there. Uh, fridge is fully accessible. You could also undo the latches, drop this table down, make it how it would be for a sleeper and then kind of slide across. But trying to take the table off isn't really a thing because it's screwed in. <laughs> it's one of those push down ones. So a little bit different. I think I just put the awning in. I probably forgot. Oh, I didn't put the awning in. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, let's try this one more time. Now I got the awning in. 
last but not least, quickly lift this up, put that in the place, shut that, flip that, and there we go. Obviously, minus the lights, jacks, and power cord, this is what it's going to look like while you're traveling down the road. Like I said, we're selling this trailer for $33,000 down here in Tucson, Arizona at Padada RV. Once again, my name's Taylor Quayle. I am a salesman here, and it is currently for sale. So if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. I would love to help. And then in the back here really quick, you can technically keep this down. These bolts in here will keep it in place, or you can lift it up and put it a little bit closer to that body if you want it to be a little bit shorter overall. So I really hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Like I said, one of the more unique trailers I've ever seen, especially with that gun cabinet and that water filtration system. Super cool. But thank you so much for viewing, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I hope you guys have a great day.